That day at Jaws, there was so much energy. Everybody was hungry. There was like 50 guys paddling. It was really dangerous. I saw the set coming, and I was right in the pack. Turned my motor on and started going out past everybody as quick as I could, and kind of paddling to the shoulder. I barely got over the first one, and then I barely got over the second one, and then the third one was even bigger, and I was paddling up it, and right as I got halfway up, I just kind of turned around and took a couple strokes, and as I started to drop down, it felt like everything was perfect, and then the wind just caught the board and made the board go sideways, and if I had a paddled one more stroke or just had a little more weight on the nose of my board it would have been a perfect entry and the face was kind of smooth into a third wave but instead it went to the side just a little and I just kind of gave up and, and fell off and just started cartwheeling over and over and over didn't really realize I was cartwheeling in the on the face I thought I was already kind of in the impact zone underwater. And then it just kept going forever and then it took me so deep. I really was just like a grain of sand going every direction, just working on staying in a ball and working on just relaxing. And as many times I rotated this way, the same exact thing, all other directions, just like a washing machine on spin cycle. And, and then I was, finally in the hard water and I'm working on getting to the surface and all I'm thinking is oh no I hope another one doesn't I was thinking about another way of coming over and I was like that this could get ugly and um, I popped up got a breath I came up as dizzy or dizzier than any wipeout I've ever had but I had lots of strength left and I wasn't exhausted or, or, or gasping for air but it, it definitely just rocked my world and spun me like as good or better than I've ever been spun. Dave came to get me and miss me and then there was another little wave. I was so dizzy I didn't know which way was up but I still had a lot of energy left and I still had a lot of um, I wasn't I wasn't uh, out of breath and, and the board went in and the board broke and then Dave came and got me and brought me back out and that's when I was excited. I was so excited and so stoked and, and wanted more waves so bad. At, before the wipeout, I was really over it. I was like, what are we doing out here? This is a joke. We should be, you know, it was just like so much wind and so hard to find the waves. And then after the pounding, I was like all riled up and ready for more. It just warmed me right up. No, I didn't get hurt at all. It felt like a basic wipeout on a big wave, but when you watch it, it was anything but basic. That that board had to hit me, who could have been my last wave. Mm -hmm.